What's up guys, Chloe Moretz here. I'm online. So, first question. Rick Yancey has said you're the perfect Cassie. Do you think he's a genius? And if not, why not? And that's from Rick Yancey. Do I think Rick Yancey is a genius? Yes, you're most definitely a genius for creating this amazing book series. Next question. How does the book challenge conventional female stereotypes? And that is from at Ben Parrish. Hmm, hi Ben. Yeah, it totally challenges typical stereotypes because instead of a girl fighting for love, she's fighting for the life of her brother and her family. The next question is, like Cassie keeps bare throughout the waves, what would you keep with you? And that is from Sally underscore Cadigan. One thing I would most definitely never leave behind would be, oh, my dog Pearl. Hello, Pearl. Say hello. <laughs> The next question is, if society is so fragile, could a single person as Cassie restructure humanity? From at Hinber underscore AJ. I do, because I think humans are incredibly unique and are magnificent at survival. So yeah. Yes, I have in fact actually read the book three times, and I was overly excited to portray my favorite character on screen. If you were in the same situation as Cassie, do you think you would react the same way? From at... Tyra Luong. Most definitely fight for the life and safety of my family no matter what. Have you read the book and how excited were you to find out you get to play Cassie? From at Lavender underscore love 14. Hey guys, super awkward. The last three I sent went through at different times, so try and match up the question with the answer. Sorry. What is your favorite chapter of the book and why? From at Leo Martins. Honestly, my favorite chapter of the book would have to be the first chapter because the way that he describes the alien invasion and how it affects us is so realistic that it haunted me for weeks. Cassie, to me, is family-oriented. So do you think you relate to Cassie in that way? At Dazzling Moretz. That was actually one of the biggest entry points into the character for me in becoming Cassie is that we had that in common, which I think is something that we haven't seen on screen before. And I really, really wanted to portray in the character. What were the most difficult elements of Cassie to portray from at silencer updates. I would definitely say I underestimated how hard it would be to actually film in the woods through the fall and winter and to also emotionally go to a place where you are that continuation where you are that emotionally torn about your family. Which character from the fifth wave would you want on your side in the final battle against the others from at fifth wave IG. I would definitely say I want Evan on my side for his incredible brute force and his fighting skills. From reading the book, is there anything that you found you and Cassie have in common? From at Dylan O. Moretz. You're a Moretz. I would definitely say it would be the fact that we are both normal everyday girls and that we haven't had the chance to live our life to the fullest and we want to experience that and we're fighting for that. If you were an alien, what would you do? Be a friend with humans or hate them? From at Andrea Real Madrid. I think I would be interested in humanity and find out what they go through on a daily basis and compare and contrast how my planet is compared to theirs. Do you have a favorite quote from the book or film? From at Ryan Peckham. My favorite quote would be, I am the one not running, not staying, but facing. One of the biggest parts of the book is the others. So what is your opinion on life on other planets? From Dylan O. Moretz. That because of how tiny we are in the spectrum of the entire universe, we'd be silly to think that there isn't anyone out there. And I hope there is. What would be in your survival backpack from at Fifth Wave IG? I'd definitely say I want rope, a knife, some soap, hopefully some bottles of water, and obviously a Britney Spears album because I can't survive without it. Guys, thank you for watching me answer your questions and thank you for submitting them. Stay tuned to see the new trailer coming out and the movie comes out in theaters January 15th. Enjoy!